I hope that you enjoyed today's drawing lesson. We're going to be showing our appreciation to all the amazing teachers out there. Nice. Start right there. Start anywhere, as long as you have space for everything, too. Awesome. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make this body. So the body is going to be, this line right here is just a square. It goes down like that. Um, so what it's gonna look like for you, first you're gonna put a little neck, so it's gonna be a little line like so. You don't have to make the neck too long, just a couple little lines right there is gonna work. And then you're gonna make a V. So this is gonna be the shirt, so it's gonna be a little V like so. It's almost like an arrow, a circle and then an arrow pointing down. Now you're gonna put the little box. So it's gonna be a rectangle, so it's gonna go down and down. Kinda looks like a letter M. Circle, lines, and then it looks like that. And again, if you um, need a little bit more time, you wanna practice, uh, we're gonna save this for, um, for the future so you could draw it again too. Then you're gonna close it up. Like so, very good. Then you're gonna make the skirt, and the skirt it could be, you can make it kinda go out. So here's two options. You can make the skirt go out, or you can kinda curve it to go in. So I'll make the skirt go out, cause that's cute. I'm gonna make mine go in. Okay. There you go. And then close it up. And if your teacher is a guy teacher, I know we have some misters teachers on here right now too. So you can always make a guy teacher too. And then go ahead and make their legs. And that's an 11. And then skip a little bit and make another 11. So notice it's like two numbers. It's 11 and then 11. And then you're gonna make little ovals. So these are gonna look like little jelly beans for the feet. Two little jelly beans. And if you want your teacher to be extra fancy, you could put a heel. And I just put like a little heel on their shoe. So once you've got this, let's put a little bit of personality. Let's put their face together. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your eyes and it's two ovals. Looks kind of silly, I know. And then you're gonna make a curve on the inside of their eye. And then you're gonna make a little eye too. So what you should have is a little oval, the neck, a little V, line like so. So it should look like she doesn't have arms yet, but that's okay. Then make a cute little nose and a smiley face. Nose and a smiley face. nicely done and then do the hair now every hair is different every teacher's hair is different so I'm gonna stick to this hair here so it's gonna be a part on each side so this is a fun part so you can design your teacher's hair to look any way because every teacher has different color hair so you guys can switch it up a little bit too I'm gonna make bangs bangs okay go for it then you can make long hair, short hair. I'm gonna make this teacher have long hair. The tricky part I'm gonna show you is the arms because the arms on the sample, notice that she's holding a book. So the arms are going in. So that's what I'll be teaching you today is making this arm go in to this, into her body and then this one right here holding a pointer. So to do that, right here where the neck is, you're gonna make it go out, 
and then in. So it's gonna look like a greater than sign maybe. So this is, I made it a little darker, but I want you to make this line right here. Out and then in, it looks like it's pointing this way. Out and in. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna make another line here for the R, right here. So the two lines I want you to make, and take your time on this, you might need a little bit more time, but you're gonna have to make this line right here. So it's going from the neck, or from the shoulder down here, and then going back into your stomach, and then make this little line. In, and out. If you can do those two things, you're good to go. That's probably the trickiest part. Once you've got that, we're gonna close it up, and then you're gonna make a circle for the hand. So take a minute to look at your arm. Make that arrow going out, coming back into the stomach, and then making this line right here, and then a circle for the arm. How are you doing? Good. Can I share yours? That's okay. That looks good to me. Looks like it's coming out. And then what you're gonna do is your teacher is gonna be holding a book. So your teacher is gonna be holding a book right in there. So go ahead and put like a little book. It's just a rectangle, something in there, you know? And then we're gonna work on the other side. The other side's the same thing. You're gonna be going on this side, but you're gonna be going a V and up, V and up. I'm gonna erase this little hair so you can see. But your other arm, your teacher's arm, should be going down and up. Down and up. Then the next arm is gonna be going down. The arms could be the trickiest part, but just do your best, have fun, and just keep on practicing. That's the most important. And then on this side, your teacher's gonna be holding a pointer. I'm sure all your teachers have been holding, you can hold some sort of pointer. Could be a pencil. Like so. It's like a wand. Like, like a Harry, Harry Potter. It'd be like a Harry Potter wand, yeah. So just keep on practicing. So now, if you take a step back and look at your whole drawing, you should have um, a teacher with his body up here, with a skirt, legs, hair, eyes. I'll show you one more time. Give you a quick second to look at it, to add to your drawing yourself. And then I'm going to go ahead and the line going across. I would say the same length as her waist. And then two legs for the table. And now you can make this any way you want. You can add whatever you want on the table for your teacher. I'm just adding the classics. A globe, a book, some flowers, and then a chalkboard. I'm gonna add an apple. Oh, there you go. That's a classic too. So first thing you're gonna do if you're gonna draw the globe is on your right side, you're gonna make a half circle right here. So go ahead and do the half circle right there. Draw your half circle right here. And then a circle right inside it. So it's like a half circle and then a floating circle. That's your globe. Then you're gonna make a C around half of that globe. So I made a circle, half circle, and then a little C. And then close your C right here with a little knob. Now depending on where you are in the world, you can always change it up a little bit, but add a place here for the land and the water. I just kind of added some. It's 
not geographically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the picture. Show yours. Good job. And then once you've got that on this side, to make one book, it's going to be a little baby C and then a line going across. Oh, and then a line going down here. So to make the book, it's a baby C. Go across and across. And again, if you need more time to do this too, you can always look at the picture a little bit later. I know it might we might be going a little too fast for, for some or maybe just right for some. So you're always welcome to refer back to this again too. And sometimes when you draw it a few times too, you'll get different kinds of teachers. So you'll go in there. Hi guys, I see a bunch of you coming in too and joining us. And then once you've got your book, right on top, I'm putting a little vase. Right in here. This is like a little vase that I'm putting and then you can put flowers coming out of it. And then this is just an option. I know that I added an apple. Got an apple here. We would love to see what you add to yours. And thank you guys so much for sending in your pictures of the other drawings that you've done. It seriously is so cool to see everyone's variations and how you're drawing them. And especially when you're sending them, sending those doctors and nurses to your own special doctors and nurses, it really does brighten their day. So we're excited. Um, that you're able to do that. So we hope you send these to a teacher that's special to you um, because I think that that would be really fun. So you've got a globe, got some books. I'm gonna put some pages inside. And I just made some lines in there for the book. Put some flowers. Now you're gonna draw right in the back. You're gonna draw a chalkboard. Can right I make it a whiteboard? Okay, sure. It's probably what everyone... Do you guys even use chalkboards now or no? No, it's only, it's only whiteboards. Oh, okay. All right, all right. You could then use a, you could make it into a whiteboard. I'm going to go with this classic look and then Reagan, you could do the other kind. But you're going to make a big rectangle, right? Or a square, right, up, right above it. So the easiest way to do that is follow the line for your table. So you can make a line going down and down. Right here, right in the back. Just as, like, even as tall as your teacher. Tall as your teacher. And then you're gonna close it off in the top. You can add a border to it. So I made this one a lot thicker. So you could take some time and add this to be, so that, that way it looks a little different than what, your, what the other ones are. And if this might be a little trickier for you to do in the other side, that's okay. Or maybe you can ask a parent to help you to make this border. Good job. Looks good, and you can write a message in there. So 